Shalom. All praise, glory, and honor goes to Yahweh, Bah Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Kwadash. I want to give double honors to the men who taught me this truth, the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Also, peace and blessings to my fellow yokesmen, the hopeful elect that continue in the work of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Also to the believers, the brothers and sisters that continue to believe upon the names Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai in all fear, Shalom. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. The Most High always spoke to the people through his servants, the prophets, Amos 3 and 7. The Most High surely would do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. And the Most High have bestowed divine intervention upon his prophets to speak unto the people. And when the prophets spoke unto the people, the prophets relayed a spiritual message unto the people by using tangible things or physical things to describe a spiritual message. And our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, which had that same spirit upon him, spoke to the people the same way by explaining a spiritual message by using tangible things, such as here in St. Matthew, the 13th chapter, and the 47th verse, when Yahweh Shai put forth the parable of the dragnet, St. Matthew 13 and 47, again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net. So Yahweh Shai is saying again, the kingdom of heaven, which is this truth that we have received, Yahweh Shai also said the kingdom of heaven is within you. So this truth would be the kingdom of heaven. It says again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net. So Yahweh Shai is comparing the kingdom of heaven unto a tangible thing or a physical thing, which is a net. And we all know in the ancient times, fishermen cast forth nets into the sea to catch fish and this truth has been placed upon the modern day net which is the internet which is the world wide web and this truth being placed upon the net has been cast into the sea as the scripture says again the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea and just like in ancient times and also here in these modern times where fishermen still use the same method, which is casting a physical net into the physical sea. Yahweh Shai is using that tangible aspect to explain this physical aspect of the kingdom of heaven being compared to a physical net. St. Matthew 13 and 47 again. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea. And when we read the book of Revelation, the 17th chapter, it tells us what the sea represents. Revelation 17 and 15, and he said unto me, the waters which thou sawest, where the whore sitteth, and that whore is America, are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. So, the sea represents the people. St. Matthew 13 and 47 again. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea and gathered of every kind. And just like a physical net that is cast into a physical sea, you don't always get your things that you desire the net to catch. You also bring in undesirables so that's why the scripture says and gathered of every kind because this scripture or the truth within the scriptures all right by the most high dealing with his prophets here in these end times and his prophets are what going out on the highways and byways and hedges as they have been commanded and putting forth this truth and as the apostle to hallway say the internet which is this modern day net does the heavy lifting 
So this truth is being spread throughout the whole world as the book of Romans, the 10th chapter and the 18th verse tells us and it reads but I say have they not heard alright and everyone has heard this truth throughout the four winds of the earth it says yes verily verily means truly so yes truly all right, everyone has heard this truth. Their sound went into all the earth, and that's the sound of the prophets being placed upon this what? Modern day net, which is the internet. Their sound went into all the earth. And when you break down that word net or internet, should I say, into syllables, in means to go into something, ter, which is um, terrestrial. Or earth, net means to what? Gather something or to catch something in its grasp, all right? So when you literally say the word internet, it means in to go into something, terrestrial or earth, and a net together, internet. So the scripture says, and their words went into the ends of the world. So let's read that again. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth and their words into the ends of the world. So, internet, into the earth, all right? To enter into something terrestrial, which is earth, all right? And a net, which is to gather it, which is the internet, okay? So, this word has been placed upon the internet. Okay, and sent into the ends of the world to gather up all kind. And these are the times that we're with, with, that we're living in, where everything is being fulfilled, or that net is being filled. Okay, because the words of the Most High is being accomplished or being fulfilled, or that net is being filled, which is to bring this wicked system that we're living in, this wicked time that we're living in, this current wicked time that we're living in, unto a closure. St. Matthew, the 14th chapter, so should I say the, the 24th chapter in the 14th verse, and this gospel of the kingdom, which is this truth, shall be preached or prophesied in all the world. And how is that taking place? By the internet. For a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So now we're seeing this net being filled or the word being sent out and being accomplished because we're seeing this wicked system that we live in and the power of the wicked, all right, which is the wicked elites, come to a closure by this word being placed upon the internet and being sent forth throughout the four winds, okay? St. Matthew 13 and 47 again. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea and gathered of every kind, which, when it was full, they drew to shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but cast the bad away, and that they would be who? The angels, okay? And that good would be the sheep, all right, the righteous. The bad would be the goats. All right, or the wicked, and those vessels that the good is being gathered into would be what? The chariots, or the vehicle of the elect's salvation. And that's going to happen at the end. All right, and we are at the end. Verse 49, it says, So shall it be at the end of the world. The angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from amongst the just. And we can read about that in the book of St. Matthew, the 25th chapter. Beginning at the 31st verse. And it reads. Bear with me, Akim. My device is just a little slow. St. Matthew, the 25th chapter. And the 31st verse. And it reads. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and that's Yahweh Shai, 
making his grand appearance, standing upon a huge fathership, all right, in his exalted state, not meeting this world as a man that he left, but meeting this world as a super angelical power, all right, it says, and all the holy angels with him, which is the host of heaven, the armies of heaven, and they're also going to be riding upon um, the chariots of the Mosai, the vehicles of the elect salvation. It says, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Verse 32, and before him shall be gathered all nations. See that? And he shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divide of his sheep from the goats. See that? That's going to be that gathering. And we're living in those times because this net is being full. It says, and before him shall be gathered all nations and he shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divide of his sheep, which are the righteous from the goat. All right. The righteous being the good and the goats. All right. Being the bad. All right. It says, and he shall set the sheep on his right hand, all right, that's the elect, and the goats, the goats are those of the wicked, all right, but the goats on his left, okay, verse 34, then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, which are the righteous, come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. All right, and that is found in the book of Ephesians, the first chapter, which is the elect, those that was predestinated to inherit salvation, which are to be a part of the right hand, or those that are on the right hand, which are the righteous or the sheep, all right, the, the, the elect, all right, those that are predestinated to save the whole nation of Israel through Yahweh Shai saving them, okay, but those that lack faith would be considered the goats, two-thirds. All right, we all know Esau, Edom, and the rest of the heathen nations, but also two-thirds will be a part of those goats, all right, because they're going to receive total destruction. Let's jump down to verse 46, St. Matthew 25 and 46. It says, And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, which are those on the left-hand side, or the bad, or the goats, but the righteous, the sheep, the right-hand side, the good, but the righteous into life eternal. See that? And that's all by this word, all right, being uh, compatible to a net and gathering in the good and the bad. Back to St. Matthew, the 13th chapter, the 48th verse again, which when it was full, they drew to shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but cast the bad away. And we just read about that in St. Matthew, the 25th chapter. So shall it be at the end of the world. The angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from amongst the just and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing the teeth. All right. And that's to the goats. All right. Because the, the just are going to be praising. All right. And, and putting forth. Uh, 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 songs of praise and rejoicing because they have received salvation being amongst the, the sheep but the goat all right they're going to be tormented in, in in that lake of fire which is going to be by the way of 200 million missiles and those concentrated beams coming from the chariots all right so that's just one example of the spirit of the most high all right being upon Yahweh Shah, all right to explain a spiritual thing by using something tangible. All right. So, you know, Lord willing, I pray that this made sense and that this was edifying. Shallow one.